stunning scenery, breathtaking beauty, spectacular cityscapes, adrenaline-pumping adventure, British Columbia, Canada's outdoor playground, welcomes me with open arms, and the compulsive traveler in me pops on for the joyride. I'm Diana Hayden, and together we're going to explore this gorgeous and exciting holiday destination. And this is where it all begins. Welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Vancouver is British Columbia, Canada's commercial and industrial hub. So what makes this charming city such a tourist delight? The many young, friendly and diverse communities, the refreshing nature trails, the crazy adventure sports, the list goes on and on and on. Now imagine this island bustling with energy, colorful communities and quaint little gems of stores. Now, you don't need to search for it on a map, because we're already here on Grenville Island in Vancouver City. This place is a living, breathing urban oasis. I have a rendezvous with a certain Mr. Fraser, my first official friend from British Columbia. So please, tell us why is Granville an absolute must-see when we come to Vancouver? Granville Island is the town square of Vancouver. This is where the locals love to bring their visitors. You'll see people from all over the world. You'll see people from right next door outside the island. They come here to shop. They come here to enjoy the weather. They come here to just look for that special something for their family. They get married here. They do it all. There's something that's very interesting that we have to see. The broom studio. It's this pair of lovely young ladies who have learned how to make classic shaker brooms from their parents. Can you tell me why does it have the shape, the handle? Oh, it's for fun. That's, it's, um, yeah. It looks like fun. <laughs> Sweeping the playoffs. Sweeping the brooms. Oh, brooms. We collect brooms from around the world. I love the smell in this place. It smells like brooms. <laughs> Art in various forms. So that was the broom. Yeah. And so after being swept off my feet by those fun, fabled brooms, I'm back in the bustling streets of the magical Granville Island. Every corner I turn has a shop I must check out. We've got jewelry makers, oh, we've got postcards, optic store. Awesome artifacts, original antiques, and even some absolutely high fashion hats. So this is the hat store. Oh See, my it's god. Small and full of every hat you can. Full of hats. Let's try this. How does that look? That is perfect. This is hat heaven. A shopaholic on these streets is like a kid in a candy shop. It's so buzzing and festive and colorful. And then I finally reached the center of Granville's culinary activity, the fresh food public market. This is the public market. Happy. All this fruit here yeah. is what, what they bring directly from um, right now, we're still in the spring. Right. So a lot of this fruit is from Mexico and Chile and, and the U.S. But as starting really next month in June and all the way through the summer, you'll see more and more of the produce here all become from the local farms. Let's head down and visit a good West Coast tradition of a good fish store and let's go look at some salmon. Sounds good, let's. We love our seafood. It's what you eat when you're in Vancouver. And whether it's oysters, whether it's our local spot prawns, or whether it's salmon. Oh my god, that is beautiful. It's on spring salmon, yes. Wow. This is the way you do it. And this is my catch. Well, you can't really come to Canada without going to uh, visit some maple syrup. It's very smooth. Oh, yeah. Very smooth. Yeah. It's less than 1% butter. I just lightly grease the palm yeah. butter. The rest is maple syrup. It's boiled, cooled down, and then I whip it into a spread. And surprisingly, you'd think it would be too sweet, but it's not. No, no, it's just perfect. 
I love the roses. The roses are stunning. The awesome, lively, and artistic Granville. No matter what your need is, this place has it all. But right now, I've got a rush because a fabulous dinner awaits me at one of Vancouver's hottest food destinations, the Blue Water Cafe. As you can see, I'm all dressed up and very excited because I'm having dinner at the Blue Water Cafe. And I must tell you that this restaurant has won the gold prize for Restaurant of the Year and Best Seafood by critics in Vancouver Magazine's annual restaurant awards. The Blue Water Cafe. so famous. I know every time you have Hollywood actors or actresses in town, yes. they come to your restaurant. Yes. What makes it so famous? It's the experience that you have here. It doesn't matter if you're a new diner, a more experienced diner, we're here to find your needs and make sure that everything's fulfilled. There's, the, of course, our wow factors. If I were to ask you what is the main speciality of the restaurant, what, the, what would that be? Oh, that's definitely the Blue Water Cafe Tower. I'm going to have to experience that. Please, let me show you. Please. Thank you. Look at that. So what we have over here is, of course, the scallop ceviche. We have some tuna go mai. Uh, they're just working on the salmon tartar. I have some seared tuna. Uh, we have, of course, uh, our sushi. This is a crab roll. And a spicy right. tuna roll. Oh. They're just going to be putting on some of the shellfish right now. Then here's some manila clams that are being placed on. Are yes. you ready to try it? Yes. Let's go to the table. Excellent. Hello, Jeremy. Hello there, hello there. Wow. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I want you two to try this lovely jellyfish salad. Now it's with some sesame okay. and of course some sesame seeds. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. I always know that we're supposed to have white wine with seafood, right? Um, could you tell me why is that so specific? It does change the taste. Why is that? Well, usually you like to have a brighter style white wine, like a lighter varietal, Rieslings, Pinot Gris do very well. But uh, actually, sparkling wine and champagne was ideal with seafood, absolutely. <laughs> I am just going to dig in right now, so I shall see you later. Bye-bye. With my tingling taste buds tripping over the succulent seafood, I call it a day. But it's tomorrow that I'm really excited about. A ride fit for a princess and a trek through the heart of the oldest rainforest of British Columbia, the spectacular Stanley Park, on the other side of this break. It's all here for me. It's all here for me. Day two of my fabulous British Columbia Canada expedition begins with a shower. And to be honest, Vancouver looks even more beautiful in the rains. I truly couldn't have picked a more perfect time to explore this gorgeous, lush, green, eco-friendly city. Donning my little red raincoat, I head out into one of the biggest protected rainforests of the province, Stanley Park. I'm in Vancouver's most beloved park, the Stanley Park. 
It is North America's largest urban park. In fact, it's even bigger than Central Park in New York. And I'm going to be getting the fairy tale treatment of this majestic, historic park in my very own Cinderella-like horse-drawn carriage. So can you. <laughs> Jerry, pleasure to see you. This is Jerry O'Neill. How are you today? I'm doing excellent. Pleasure to see you today. Thank you. This is a princess carriage. That's correct. Uh, it is a princess carriage. You're and you... on the princess today. Thank you. Yeah. You're charming, aren't you? Follow me. Oh, this is a beautiful animal. Oh, this is so princess. I'm sure this is where couples come. This is a honeymoon kind of a carriage, right? It's, yeah, it's, that's the well, one that many dreams starts and yes. comes alive. But I have a request. I, you know, I absolutely love horses. From the time of a child, right, from Black Beauty and all the horse films. So, yes. is there any chance that I can, you know, I don't know, feed a horse? And... Wow, you really want to do that? Please. So, this is... So their walk-in closet. Please come on in. Oh wow! What I love animals. Hey, gorgeous. Now I'm looking at your face and you're scaring me. Oh, yeah. here you go, big boy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get thrown out of my job. Can I come and work here? Well, I, I thought you were moving here. Yeah, I, I am having the time of my Hello. life. I can do this all day. <laughs> Meet my new friend. This is Clipper. Say hi to Clipper. Clipper's busy eating. Uh, here, hang on to this one. Right over his nose. Okay. Right, so I'm taking him home now. Shall we see, see the carriage? Let's. You just made my day. Fantastic. Thank you. Stanley Park has so much to offer that it leaves your head spinning. I absolutely had to take off on my own to explore this gorgeous place by myself. Just imagine driving through this beautiful park with the man of your dreams, or the woman of your dreams. Gloria, Gloria. Gloria, Gloria. In the city, to have a park like this, and sit in a horse-drawn carriage. It is so stunning. It is so romantic. The only thing missing is my Prince Charming. Whoa. I think I really need your help. I need your help to, to help me to steer those horses. Are you serious? You want me to ride Absolutely. Way in order to make them go, you gotta do some kisses. You gotta blow some kisses. That's how they work. Are you ready? We're gonna do this together at three. Okay, one, two, three. Pull back on your reins a little bit. Can you imagine you're in control of uh, two big geldings just with the kisses and you got, got the whip too. I mean, you know, if you want to... I would never use. <laughs> what are their names? What are their names? Pepper is on the right and Maddie is on the left. Hey, Pepper, hey. It encompasses the natural West Coast rainforest and scenic views of water, mountains, sky, and majestic trees along the famous seawall. Really lucky to have such a beautiful park right in the middle of downtown Vancouver. A thousand acres of rainforest, surrounded by 11 kilometers of the seawall, and it truly is a favorite for not only locals like myself, but visitors yeah. such as yourself. It's stunning. As I walk through what seems to be nature's lap of luxury, my tummy has started growling. After last evening's classy, exotic culinary extravaganza at Blue Water Cafe, today I'm in the mood for street food. And it's on the Granville Street that I spot the famous food carts of Vancouver. Driving away my binge blues is Vancouver's street food expert, Michelle. What are the most popular food carts here in Vancouver? 
Vancouver. And really what they specialize here is the butter chicken non kebab. I'm going to have to try that. Oh, it smells Please. amazing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's on a fresh baked naan. I can yeah. see it. It's so fresh. Wow. Amazing. Mmm. This is really good. The good thing is, it's proper butter chicken. Oh, yes, it is. You know, it's not like how you'd find in a lot of countries you travel to, a lot of cities. This is proper Indian butter chicken. Yes, it oh, is. it's delicious. Oh, we got a proper Indian here making it. Mm -hmm. This is Uncle. Uncle, Uncle. Um, Hello, Uncle, Uncle Ji. Thank you. Now, shall I take you to our next tasting location? I can't wait. Today, though, we're going to taste their um, salmon on organic green salad. It's really amazing. And you know what? Honestly, it's a great way to get the vegetables in there, too. Uh, in this little space, you've got it all worked out. Six feet by 10 feet, we got everything. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Diana. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Tantalizing whiffs attack me from every direction, and I'm completely spoiled for choice with a sheer variety of culturally diverse cuisines available all around. And it's healthy, delicious, quick, and fun. Reminds me of the street food back home. And I see the suspension bridge. Yes, right up here is the suspension bridge itself. My food cart frenzy finally comes to an end, and it's time now to burn some of those calories. The Capilano suspension bridge beckons, and it looks like the rain gods have decided to keep showering their blessings on me. The way I see it, nothing can dampen my spirits today. take you way back in time to the late 18th century and I'm going to introduce you to Sky, who's going to give us a tour. Hi Hello. Sky. Hi Dinah, how are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. We are in the beautiful rainforest. Please yes. tell us about it. We call it the rainforest because we get a lot of rain, which is why, as you can see, it's very, very lush and green around here. It is. It is very lush. And green. Yes. The most amazing thing about Van